Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and last week Wix Studio dropped some amazing announcements at their Open Studio event. If you're not aware of what the Open Studio event is, it's basically their Apple keynote. So you get to learn about some products or features coming out very soon. And I actually had the pleasure of going to an in-person watch party in a community near me. And I got to meet some lovely partners and business owners. My wife was even able to come and we actually had a lot of fun. But as for the Open Studio showcase goes, there is a lot to cover. There are some amazing features coming to Wix Studio and even more ways for partners to generate revenue. One of which I have been wanting for years and years. We are finally getting a template marketplace. Before we could sell a template ourselves, but we would have to duplicate a template and transfer it manually to the customer. But now the marketplace is gonna take care of that for us. And the partners apparently get to keep 100% of the earnings and I absolutely love that. As of right now, we can go ahead and submit our templates for whenever the marketplace does get released, but they did not announce a specific date that the marketplace would actually be released. But what I will tell you is behind the scenes, I have actually been working on a couple templates, one of which I am super proud of and absolutely love. This modern, clean, minimal design is tailored for an HR online business, but realistically it can be used for any type of website that offers services. One of my favorite sections on this website has to be the story section on the about page. I used Velo code for the multi-state box and I used no code animation effects on these little fake buttons that I created to toggle through the multi-state box. I think it looks really, really cool. So whenever the template marketplace does get released, if you like this design, be sure to grab a copy of it. Another huge feature that's coming to Wix Studio has to be the Figma to Wix Studio app. Now, if you're not sure of what Figma is, it's basically a design software. And what we'll be able to do is transfer a Figma design straight to Wix Studio. So we can just grab a page and immediately build it with this app. I think it's so cool. But not just that, we'll be able to copy sections or components from Figma and paste them into Wix Studio. That in itself is such a cool feature and it can help speed up the workflow for building websites for clients and could open the door for more possibilities. This app is set to release in June, so keep an eye out for it. Now let's do a quick fire round for some of the features coming to Wix Studio. Firstly, we'll soon be able to apply a max width to our site or even section. This is gonna help us prevent certain elements on certain desktop sizes like 4K or 8K monitors from looking too big. I absolutely love this feature and can't wait for it. Of course, I am gonna make a video as soon as this feature does get released. For grid cells, we can now easily flip around the layout using the new icons in the inspector panel. Speaking of the inspector panel and cells, we are now able to set the width for each cell inside of the inspector panel now as well. Next, they are gonna be adding a search function inside of the add panel for us to be able to find elements quickly. And if you ever want to expand an image without having to download an image using Photoshop, and upload to Wix and everything like that, then soon we'll be able to expand images using AI right in Wix. They are currently working on an amazing text marquee effect, so we'll be able to create scrolling text very easily. And lastly, they are releasing the ability for us to write blog posts with AI. As someone that's not good at writing blog posts, this is gonna be an amazing feature. Now let's take a look at some of the internal Wix apps. First, they have just released the Wix donation app and they are slowly rolling out the hotels app. I know I actually recently received a comment about that hotels app, so it is coming soon or it might be even available for you now. Just depends on how they are releasing it. For e-commerce, you can now set mandatory or optional fields for the checkout page. And we can even set quantity limitations. Now I already made a video on quantity limitations, but it was also announced during the event. For bookings, users can now book multiple services in one checkout flow. Before, they had to book one, check out, then book another, check out, and it can be a little bit more tedious for your users, but now you don't have to worry about that. Also, if you wanted to, you could charge no-show or cancellation fees if your user cancels or doesn't show up for their booking. The Events app now lets you add Express Checkout and the Loyalty Program app allows you to set expiration dates on unused points. 
Last but not least, during the previous Open Studio event, they did announce the web designer certification. I was able to get that certification and it was actually a pretty fun test. I will say though, I did fail the first time I took it because I did rush and did not pay attention to the animation and effects. So if you plan to take it, be sure to take your time, enjoy the process. But in this Open Studio event, they did announce the new developer certification. So if you are a Velo developer, this will probably be a good thing to get so you can get more leads inside of the Wix marketplace. But these were the main takeaways from this Open Studio event. I do plan to attend more in-person watch parties in the future. So if you are in the Dallas area, I would love to meet you. If you wanna learn more, you can head on over to the Wix community on Discord, and there's actually a whole tab for Dallas, and that's probably where they're going to make some announcements for the next watch party. I'd also like to hear your thoughts on this style of update video. I was thinking about doing something like this after every single Open Studio event. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But that's all I really have to cover today. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to all the channel members who support the channel. It really does mean a lot. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you on the next one.